Hello my friends, welcome back to another Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom video for you guys here on the channel. This one I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete all of the monstrous collection, uh, I guess sort of like side quests from uh, Kilton in Terrytown. Uh, if you do enjoy this one, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more, and all that good stuff really helps the channel. If you don't enjoy this video, let me know why so I can improve the content in the future. So we're going to actually have to go ahead and get this started before we can actually dive into this. There's a few prerequisites, so let me show you how to kind of kick things off. So originally, you're going to find him over down here at the Woodland Stable. So if you uh, travel over there, you go to the Woodland Stable area, you're going to find this uh, Pico Pond. And if you go to the back of it over here, right by this Pico Pond cave, uh, you're going to find uh, Kilton hanging out there. And he's going to kind of trigger this whole thing with his brother Colton, which has to do with this secret monster shop and has to do with the actual, you know, bubble frogs and the bubble gems you get in the caves. If you want to know more about that, I'll uh, try to remember to link uh, a video about that down in the description below that I've done, uh, as well as all the rewards you can get uh, for um, that sort of side thing, right? Again, with uh, with Kilton, uh, sorry, Colton. I, I keep getting our names mixed up, but what happens is after you kind of interact with him there, you're going to see that Kilton is going to, first of all, tell you he's going to go show up in, in Terrytown. He's like, I'm going to make my, my way over there. And uh, if you come to Terrytown, uh, you kind of go through the entrance, which is right here. Uh, right over here, you're going to see him hanging out. Now, the other prerequisite is to get... Um, this is Hudson, right? Yeah, we got we got to get Hudson uh, free of his work. So we have to do this whole other side thing, um, which I guess I'll also link down in the description below, which has to do with getting um, there's like this whole thing with his daughter and and whatnot, and then we can finally build our own house. And there's a whole thing there. Eventually, he's going to be free to work, and uh, he's going to show up, and he's going to be talking to Kilton over here, and that's where we're picking up. So now that you got a little bit of backstory, let's go ahead and talk to him. Uh, so what he wants is he wants, uh, he's trying to explain what a Bacoblin looks like to, uh, to Hudson. And we're going to ask him, well, what's going on? Now, the other thing you're going to have to do is get the camera. So if you don't know how to get the camera, uh, again, I guess I'm going to have to link in another guide. But basically, you talk to Robbie uh, in the uh, lookout landing area. You do his whole side thing. Eventually, you're going to get the camera and the Hyrule Compendium unlocked. Um, and then you can take pictures. Now, the important thing to note, though, is that anything in your Hyrule Compendium specifically, you cannot pull pictures from. It has to be pictures from your album. So pictures that you've taken yourself. So if you bought into pictures for your Hyrule Compendium, it's not going to do. You have to take these pictures by yourself. So Bacoblins, very, very easy to find, scattered throughout the region. I don't need to show you that one uh, and then they want to borrow the picture so we're gonna say okay sure you can borrow the picture again as long as you have a, a picture of a bacoblin in your Hyrule compendium that's all that matters that is all you need now this is going to be the same thing for all the monsters that are going to be taking place uh throughout this whole kind of side quest side adventure i'm not really sure uh anyway so he says done and done as promised and this is what the bacoblin looks like it is the very monster sculpture i have been uh longing for is that what he said or looking for Either way, um, it's not the nicest, but sure. Now, prettiest please, would you pick the perfect spot to display the sculpture uh, over there? I'm afraid I can't do that. <laughs> He's like, why not? I've got a rule against making that kind of decision. Too much responsibility, not my thing. So uh, eventually, we're going to have to do it. Okay, so we've got the Monstrous Collection 1. We're going to have to go ahead. We're going to have to pick it up. And we're going to have to place this Bacoblin however we see fit. So we can place it up here. We can place it wherever we want. Uh, so let's just put it up there on the ledge. Talk to Kilton. Uh, it is Kilton, right? Excuse me. Yeah, I keep getting that mixed up. I don't know why. And uh, say, hey, I found a nice spot for it. He's like, what? <clears throat> Excuse me. You did? My voice is gone. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, such artistry. It's everything I ever hoped it would be. So realistic, too. Um, okay, so great. We, we got that one done. Must show it to every eyeball in the village. So now everybody must see it. Everybody, come look. There's a random... Bacoblin sculpture. It doesn't look the greatest, uh, but there's a, ra a random Bacoblin sculpture. Sculpture. Uh, hear ye, hear ye. Present you to famed Bacoblin. I hope he doesn't do this for every monster, because my goodness, that would be tedious. Uh, when you look at it, it's rather cute. Well, <laughs> I don't know about that there, but all right, sure. Um, okay, so we got the Bacoblin. There's a whole dialogue here. Uh, feel free to read it. I'm going to just kind of skim through it uh, <clears throat> briefly. And then, and then we're going to have to continue this. Just thank you. Thank you once more. Uh, not You not only helped my younger brother, but me too. Please take this as a token. So we're going to get monster extract for this one. Um, so anyways, again, more dialogue. A monstrous collection one. Now, as you can see, this is titled number one. Now he wants a horriblin. We know what a horriblin is. Again, I got a picture of that. So they're going to want a detailed picture. Now, at this point, now that we kind of understand the gist of it, uh, I think I'm going to kind of just skip ahead. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys just the, the, the main beats. 
not every piece of dialogue. Um, and just so you guys know exactly, okay, what, what is gonna be involved in this? I will say that if you don't know where to find a Horblin, if you look at those like kind of caves scattered throughout Hyrule, the ones where you find the bubble frogs inside of, uh, Horblins are basically almost in every single one of those caves, at least the majority of them. So if you go in one of those, you should be able to find a Horblin very, very easily. So I'm not gonna show you guys the location for this one specifically. I will show you a location for some of the harder ones, which are gonna be the following monsters. But for this one, just search the caves and you should be able to find a Horblin pretty easily. Okay, so we got our Horblin placed. Uh, again, same kind of thing. You just go ahead, you go place the Horblin. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna say, I found a nice spot for it. What did you say? And uh, it's kind of the same dialogue. Hudson again says, I can't do that. It's too much responsibility. Uh, I don't, I, I, th I figured we'd know this by now, but anyways, now the whole village has to come see it again and then we'll get a reward. All right, so this time the reward is gonna be Sneaky Monster Soup, which is gonna give us 30 whopping minutes. Of stealth up which is pretty crazy it's apparently it's a specialty of his we also get monster extract as well uh so that is going to be number two uh and that is going to complete uh this one here and uh yeah okay thank you thank you thank you so he wants more monsters of course we have more monsters yes you want more pictures so at this point what you're gonna actually have to do when you talk to him he's not gonna tell you right off the bat what he wants or or whatever uh we're actually have to say got a monster in mind now i didn't click that this time around we click got a monster in mind and he's gonna tell us exactly which monster he wants to see next he's gonna say he needs a battle talus and what i realized is you cannot pull it from your hyrule compendium so a battle talus if you guys are trying to find one is uh well they're scattered across hyrule field but there's one right here where i'm uh, so like right around here just kind of north of this shrine just kind of east of this tower uh, So this is a battle talus and it only kind of you know comes to life when you when you go on it uh, or close to it actually um, Again, I already have this in my Hyrule compendium, but I need a, an actual picture of it So there you go battle talus you can know what a battle talus is because they're the ones that are basically a fortress uh, So I'm gonna take a picture of that and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna return to uh, Colton Colton? Yeah, Colton, uh, and build that Battle Talus statue for him. All right, so now if we go to our album, talking to uh, Kilton, we can see that there's actually an exclamation mark next to the one that we need. Uh, so this is going to be the one we're going to give him. It's going to be a Battle Talus. We're going to say, of course, you can borrow this picture. And Hudson's going to go ahead and he's going to create the Battle Talus sculpture. Okay, so once we've placed the uh, Battle Talus on the stage, he's going to go ahead, he's going to do his whole thing. He's going to be super happy. And he's going to give us the uh, Monster Bridle, which is very interesting uh, because it conceals the horse's head. It's a uh, very interesting looking uh, uh, bridle, if you will. And he says, take this as well. He's going to give us, again, more Monster Monster extract seems like he gives us that every single time and that's going to complete a monstrous collection number three we can go ahead we can talk to him again and we can go ahead and say hey uh do you have any ideas uh once again so we're going to talk to them hudson again if you if you don't have enough space uh if you've created uh unnecessary sculptures he's going to say hey i don't i don't you know I, I don't have the necessary materials so i'm going to go ahead and grab something that i thought was something he was asking for which is a normal talus i'm going to go back and talk to them uh and then when you do talk to them again you're going to be able to go ahead and say break down this uh this this statue he's gonna look he's gonna say hey if you bring me a sculpture i'm gonna say break this one down we're gonna be pretty much good to go he's gonna break down yes it's, it's okay to break it down and uh that's gonna be that and, and done he's gonna do that and then we're gonna be able to finally you know go ahead and proceed with the next uh picture so for the next one again we're gonna go ahead we're gonna talk to uh Kilton again, sorry, I keep mixing him and his brother up, Colton, uh, and then they're going to have the whole, you know, typical dialogue, we're going to ask him specifically, do you have a monster in mind, uh, and then this time he's going to say, uh, in this case, I love to make a frox, okay, so froxes are going to be found in the depths, so I'm going to go ahead and going to show you guys where to find one, again, there's multiple locations, uh, but I'll, I'll show you where you can find one, we're going to get a picture of it, and uh, we'll be good to go. All right, so this is probably going to be the easiest Frox location. Uh, so Terrytown is just right here. And just going north, you got the East Akala Plains Chasm. If you drop directly into that chasm, right at the bottom right here is going to be a Frox located. So all you got to do is go ahead. You got to take a picture of it just like that. There we go. We got a picture. Uh, that should be all we need. Uh, again, it's going to replace the picture in my Hyrule Compendium, but that's fine. Uh, and then we're going to make our way back over to Terrytown and uh, show it to uh, Kilton. So go ahead and show Kilton the picture of the frocks. Of course, they can go ahead and borrow it. They're going to go ahead and they're going to build a sculpture of it, which is going to, uh, again, require us to place it on the stage. And once you place the frocks on the stage, his gift is going to be the monster st uh, saddle to go along with the monster bridle. And of course, we're going to get some more monster extract as per usual. Uh, so he's very, very happy. And that's going to complete a monstrous collection of four uh we're gonna go ahead we're gonna talk to him once again uh and we're gonna see what he wants this time so you got a monster in mind he wants a king gleok now thankfully i already have a picture of a king gleok but 
Uh, or I should. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys where to find them anyways. There's a few different locations. So you can find them in the sky. There's going to be, I believe there's one on this island here, if I recall correctly. Uh, there's one, I believe there's also one on this island right here. Uh, in the sky, you're going to need flying devices to get to them. And there's one right here where I marked the sword. So this is the one I think I took a picture of right here. There's also a Gleok den where you're going to find a King Gleok in the depths, uh, which I believe is going to be, let me just go ahead and find it. Yeah, so it's going to be up here just uh, north of the uh, Korok uh, forest area. Uh, there's actually a chasm right here you can drop into. Uh, it's the closest Skyview Tower. is a Typhlo Ruin Skyview Tower. You drop down there, you go down this path, and there's a Gleok Den. This is probably the easiest one to get to. So I would just go here, snap a picture of it. Uh, there's a little tiny path right here you can go through, uh, and you're pretty much good to go. And then once you do that, you can go ahead and you can talk to uh, Kilton once again. And uh, we can show him the picture. I'm going to have to find the picture. So just let me go ahead, show him the picture, get the sculpture made and place it. And I'll show you guys what the rewards are for that. All right, so the, for the reward for the King Gleok, which again, by the way, the King Gleok has three different heads. They all have three heads, the Gleoks, but this one is three different elemental heads. So the electric or the thunder, uh, fire and ice. Uh, so we're getting a diamond for this. He says, for me, there's nothing more valuable than the monster sculpt sculptures I've received. Uh, but I know gems are most folks uh, desire uh, most. And here's the usual reward as well. <laughs> of course, the monster extract. Thanks to you, my dream is nearly complete to build a collection of monsters, share them with everyone to show people the monsters too. Thank you, thank you. So that's going to complete a monstrous collection five and I is that it actually that might be it hold on Let me go see so if you go ahead and ask him which monster would you like to see he says you've already fulfilled every and uh, Sorry each and every request of mine, uh, but if you insist on uh assisting more then I do want to decorate the stage with all kinds of monsters and you can you can basically create anything uh, any of the temple bosses including the final boss by the way you can make a sculpture of the final boss I'm not going to show you guys obviously for sake of spoiler but uh, the ones that you you basically need need were what was it the Bokoblin you also needed the Horriblin which again you find in the caves uh, we needed the frogs we needed the battle talus and we needed the King Gleok um, and that's where all the rewards. So again, we get the, uh, the the monster bridle and the monster saddle, which uh, look pretty crazy and creepy uh, as well. Uh, surprisingly, there's not any kind of like monster uh, glider fabric, which I, I thought, you know, maybe there would be because there seems to be for like almost everything else. But uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you complete this, uh, the stage for uh, Kilton here in uh, Terrytown. Get a bunch of cool rewards. They're, you know, they're, I guess they're worth doing and uh, whatnot. But let me know what you guys think about it all in the comments below. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more. And I hope to see you guys soon in another one. Tell them, my friends, game on. And thanks for watching.